What's up, Roger Sufit here to help you lose weight and not your lifestyle, and this one is for my nurses. If you are a nurse or you are an overnight worker, this one can also help you as well. But I wanna specifically talk to my nurses because y'all are really the heroes during this time. So I know everything is crazy for you. Your work schedule is like back to bags, people calling out, people calling in, trying to call you in. It's a lot going on and that is a very difficult lifestyle to manage. So I wanna help you manage that today. This is the weight loss plan that is gonna help you get to your goal while you're also focusing on your career. Now, make sure you stick around because if you don't have time to stick to this, chances are you probably don't have time to stick to your goals and that's why we're not getting results in the first place. So make sure you're paying attention. There's five things that I wanna to talk to you about today. Now, the biggest part is gonna be this, the foods that you're eating. And I'm gonna show you a way to fix up the amount of meals that you actually eat so you can better understand how to navigate with your lifestyle with those overnight 12 hour shifts. It's crazy. All right, so this is something that my nurses do personally to actually get the results and my overnight workers do to get the results. Also people with irregular schedules, this can work for all of you. You wanna focus on not so much breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, but more so focus on the amount of times you're eating because your days aren't regular days as we say. You're probably not eating breakfast at 10 a.m. You're probably eating breakfast at 10 p.m. because you just got up at five, maybe you're running late, you got to work, things got busy, you just forgot to eat. It happens, but that's okay. So what I want you to focus on instead is eating the right number of meals. One, the type of meal, it should be very healthy, okay? Now, two, make sure if you're not working out that day, and if you're doing a 12 hour shift, chances are you're probably not working out because you're tired from that 12 hour shift, you can eat a little bit less, right? And the reason I say eat less is because you're not working out, so you're not expending a huge amount of calories. So you wanna make sure your intake is lower than how much you're putting out. And if you're on the floor as a nurse and you're moving around a lot, you're very active in that job. So you're definitely burning calories. So matter of fact, even track your steps as you go about your day and see how many more calories you're burning um, during your regular work shift. Now, the second part is your workouts. And the workouts are very manageable too. Um, it's gonna be managed the same way as you do your meals. So what I want you to do is this, focus on how many times in a week that you actually work out. Understand that you're still burning calories through NEATS, which is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. That is the calories you burn from just doing regular daily activity. Like the amount of calories I'm burning making this video is probably gonna be like 10 calories. The amount of calories you go checking out patients for 12 hours is probably like 500 because you're walking so many thousands of steps throughout the hospital right? That is your neat amount of calories. So you're still burning calories, but you also do need to make sure you're actually working out, okay? And when you fill yourself properly with the with the, the style of meal planning that I just gave you, and my first tip, you combine that with making sure you're working out enough throughout the week, you're still going to get amazing results, even though your schedule is very crazy. It's going to take a little dedication, but hey, you chose that path, so I know you have that energy within you, because anybody who can stick through a 12-hour shift, you have dedication, and so I know you have the motivation to get it done, all right? So I would recommend you focus on at least three weighted exercises or some kind of exercise that actually puts resistance on the body, so not just cardio, because um, you're really already getting cardio during your work shift. Focus on actually weight training with the muscles, okay? Free weights, machine weights, you can use bands, whatever. Make sure you're getting a good workout in at least three times a week. If you can get any more than that, go for it, but try to make a baseline of three. All right, now I took some notes on this because I don't want to miss anything here. The third part is sleep. Okay, now sleep is very important because sleep is when we build the most muscle in the body, and it's when we repair the most muscle and damage in the body. And it's also when we actually burn the most fat in the body. Okay, you burn a lot of calories when you're sleeping. Your body gets all the things fixed up. That's why you wake up in the next day and you feel great. Or if you go to sleep and you have like three hours and you're right back up going to another shift, you feel groggy all day, you've lost your appetite because you're not getting enough sleep and all these things snowball into bad eating habits because you don't get that sleep, you don't build your willpower source back up. And without that willpower, you're not gonna have the willpower to get number one or two that I just talked about done. So pay very close attention to your sleep quality. I would recommend things like getting blackout curtains for your room. Um, when it's time for you to wind down and go to bed, try not to go home and be working out and cooking this and doing all this crazy stuff. Try to get home, wind down, get away from your phone, turn everything off, black the room out, maybe light a candle before you knock out, blow it out before you go to sleep, of course. But really try to get you a relaxing routine 
because when you're on a 12 hour shift, it can really mess your rhythm up. Okay, and I want you to understand that about yourself, right? You gotta really start paying attention to your energy levels and what's taking away from um, a, a normal balance of energy for you. And also make sure you're understanding what's stressing you out because if you're stressed out, it's gonna be hard for your body to actually wanna lose that weight. Okay, because of the different hormones you're releasing that's making the weight loss hard for you. So sleep quality is actually one of the most important things. I'll tell you, tell you this, um, a lot of times when I was training my nurses, my overnight workers in person, sometimes they would come out for shift and they would come in, they, they would be warming up and I'd be like, hey, um, you got to go home. Because I know for them, it's better for them to go home and get to sleep and just come back the next time to work out because that workout would only do more damage to them right so do make sure you're getting a very good sleep quality as you go about your uh, weight loss and your body toning goals now the fourth part is your environment now i talk about, about a lot about lifestyle because this is real these are the things that we don't pay attention to when it comes to our weight loss goals so your environment at work can be very tough because you're walking around and you just see the candy bowl you grab a piece of candy you do that, that that's not candy but you grab a piece of candy and you're eating it or somebody has snacks in the break room or, you know, uh, different restaurants providing you free meals or discounts on meals. You're just, going, you're just grabbing and going. We're not really thinking about what we're actually putting together in our, um, in our meals and what we're putting into our body. So pay attention to your work environment. Make sure you're planning meals for you. And so I'll say this when it comes to your body. This is how you combat your environment. We're going to go back to tip number one for a quick second. I want you to focus on what I call the most important meals of the day. So these are the meals that you don't really have time to sit down and enjoy and prepare and eat and everything. You kind of, if it's there, you grab it and go. Just like if you forgot your food at home, but McDonald's is right there, which one are you gonna do? You're probably gonna go to McDonald's or you're probably gonna go to the cafeteria downstairs, grab a quick meal, whatever's fresh out the oven, and it might not be the best for you, but hey, you haven't eaten all day and you're hungry. And we'll be thinking, well, you know, I haven't eaten all day. I'm just gonna eat this one meal, it's not gonna be bad, but that meal is like 1200 calories. And then you're going around, you see snacks on the desk, you're grabbing those, and now we've had over 2,000, sometimes even 3,000 calories throughout the day, and we didn't realize it. Why? Because we're working so much, 12-hour shift, and we're just really tired. So pay very close to attention to your environment. Make sure you're preparing the most important meals of the day, the ones that you cannot just sit there and think about, okay, this, 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 just grab and go type of meals, okay? Make sure you have to prepare. Now, the last thing I want you to understand is this is some science stuff. The law of thermodynamics, okay? You can't create energy and you can't destroy energy. It just, it just goes in cycles and waves, right? So what does this mean? For you to lose weight, for you to tone your body up, for you to gain the muscle, for you to look the exact way you want to, you gotta understand the law of thermodynamics. Calories in versus calories going out, okay? So if you burn this many calories a day, you're eating this many, the law of, the the law of thermodynamics says you are going to gain fat. So if you want to stop gaining fat, pay attention to that. It doesn't matter um, that you've been up on your feet all day moving around. If you're overeating in calories and you can't put the fork down or you can't fill your body up with the right kind of fuel, you're just going to gain weight or you're not going to lose any weight or gain any at all. You're going to stay where you're at. You're not going to see the results as you go in to your, um, to your program or your process, whatever you're trying to go through. Okay, so if you need help with this, I also offer custom meal planning that helps my overnight workers understand how to eat, what times would be best for them to eat, what time is good for them to stop eating. Um, and it's, a lot of it's based off lifestyle, and so it really comes down to the individual. But we'll be talking about that personally, should you decide you want a personal program for me to help you with that. That is all. I hope this is very helpful for you. Share this to your nurse friends, okay? Because I know nurses, y'all got like a, a, a cult together, like, hey, y'all got to stay together. All right. So make sure you share this to your friends. These are the same tips that my clients are using and really abusing to get to the weight loss goals faster than the next person. OK, right, so I do hope this helps you. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post weight loss content like this regarding you and your lifestyle all the time. Until the next video, I'm going to see you then. Peace.